25 Minutes to Enlightenment, Volume 5, Chapter 2 Sutra, upon receiving the Buddha's instruction, Ananda and the Great Assembly gained the wisdom and awareness that was perfectly penetrating and free of doubt and delusion. Commentary Upon receiving the Buddha's instruction, Ananda and the Great Assembly gained wisdom and awareness that was perfectly penetrating. At that time, their wisdom was complete and bright, and their enlightenment reached perfect penetration, and they were free of doubt and delusion. Sutra, all at the same time, they placed their palms together, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, Today, our bodies and minds are illumined, and we are happily free from obstruction. Commentary. All at the same time, they placed their palms together, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, they made a full prostration at his feet, and Ananda said, Today our bodies and minds are illumined. They clearly understood, and we are happily free from obstruction. We have attained a blissful state free of hindrance, doubt, and obstacles. Sutra, we have understood the meaning of the ending of the six and the one. Still, we have not yet gone through to fundamental perfect penetration. Commentary, we have understood the meaning of the ending of the six and the one. We see clearly the principle that when the six are free, the one also is gone. Still, we have not yet gone through to fundamental perfect penetration. What is the source of perfect penetration? We still don't know. Sutra, Bold Honored One, we who have floated and floundered our way through aeon after aeon, homeless and orphaned, had no idea. We never imagined that we could meet with the Buddha in such a close relationship. We are like lost infants who have suddenly found their compassionate mother. Commentary, World Honored One, we start hearers with something left to study, who have floated and floundered our way, bobbing and sinking in the bitter sea of birth and death, and failing to get out of the will of rebirth, through end after end, homeless and orphaned, without parents to take care of them, often, often have no roof over their heads, and must sleep out in the open at night. We had no idea. We never imagined that we could meet with the Buddha in such a close relationship. It never occurred to us that we could encounter the Buddha, who is like a compassionate mother to us. We are like lost infants who have suddenly found their compassionate mother. The child that was lost now finds its mother and will have no have milk to drink. Sutra, because of this, we accomplished the way in this assembly. Yet, the secret words which we received are the same as our basic enlightenment, and so it is the same as if we hadn't even heard them. Commentary, because of this opportunity which we have had, because of the Dharma the Buddha spoke, we accomplished the way in this assembly. Yet, the secret words which we received are the same as our basic enlightenment. The secret dharmas which the Buddha taught us were such that each of us were enlightened to different things, and yet the enlightenment is our own. And so it is the same as if we hadn't even heard them. Ananda says, The dharma the Buddha speaks causes us to become enlightened. The dharma was what the Buddha spoke, but the enlightenment is our own. We understand our basic nature, we see our basic mind. It is not something that is obtained from outside. That's why it's no different than if we hadn't heard at all. Sutra, we only wish the greatly compassionate one we bestow upon us the profound secret as the first commands of final instruction. After saying this, he prostrated himself with Drew and held himself ready for the secret opportunity as he awaited the Buddha's hidden transmission. Commentary Ananda continued, 
to beseech the Buddha. We only wish the greatly compassionate one will bestow upon us the profound secret and as the first commands the final instruction. He asks the Buddha to again give rise to great compassion and bestow on him the profound secret drama, the great Suragama Samadhi. He wants the water of Samadhi. As the first commands the final instruction, let this be the ultimate instruction the Buddha gives us. Once he had made this request, he prostrated himself, withdrew and held himself ready for the sacred opportunity. He returned to his seat and waited for Shakyamuni Buddha to transmit the wonderful drama to him secretly. Secret means that although everyone is present, the Buddha transmits a drama door to Ananda without the others realizing it. So the text says, as he awaited the Buddha's hidden transmission. Sutra, then the world honored one told all those in the assembly who were great bodhisattvas and great ahas, their outflows extinguished. All of you bodhisattvas and ahas who are born from within my dharma and have attained the stage beyond learning, I now ask you, when you first brought forth your resolve and became enlightened to the eighteen realms, which one of these brought perfect uh, penetration through which expedient did you enter Samadhi? Commentary The Buddha knew that Ananda had withdrawn and readied himself for the secret opportunity to receive the Buddha's silent transmission. The Buddha knew what was on Ananda's mind, but for the time being he did not respond to Ananda's request. First, he questioned the twenty-five sages. He asked who had obtained perfect penetration and where they had obtained it from. He asked them which sense organ they used to become enlightened. Then the wound honored one told all those in the assembly who were great bodhisattvas and great ahas, their outflows extinguished. This sentence was added as narrative when the sutra was compiled. What follows in the Buddha's words? All of Jew bodhisattvas and ahas who are born from within my dharma and have attained the stage beyond learning, you were born from the Buddha's mouth, transformationally born from the Dharma. You have reached the fourth version of Ahashib, the level beyond learning, or you are great Bodhisattvas. I now ask you, when you first brought forth your resolve and became enlightened to the eighteen realms, which one of these brought perfect penetration? In the end, which sense organ, which realm was perfectly penetrating? Through which expedient did you enter Samadhi? Through which Dharma door did you attain Samadhi? Sutra Kaundinya with the others of the five visuals arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, when I was in the deer park and the pheasant garden, I observed the first common immediately after his accomplishment of the way. Upon hearing the Buddha's voice, I understood the four truths. Commentary Kaundinya, also known as Anatta Kaundinya, was one of the Buddha's disciples. His name means understanding the original limit, Chia Benchi. The very first to understand, Sui Chu Chia, whom was he, was the first of the Buddha's disciples to become enlightened. He was a Dharma natural elder because his enlightenment came early and he was quite old by this time. With the others of the five bishops, he arose from his seat, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, When I was in the deer park and the pheasant garden, I observed the first command immediately after his accomplishment of the way. He said that the pheasant garden was a grove of trees where a lot of pheasants lived. The grove once caught fire and the pheasants wetted down their wings with water and beat out the fire. So it said that this spot was a very efficacious one. 
There was an unusual magic atmosphere about the place. The geomantic properties were excellent. People who cultivate the way should find places to abide that are endowed with such an efficacious, efficacious atmosphere because it is said of such places when people draw near is magical for them. In other words, it's easier to get enlightened there. At that time, Kaundinya continued, we observed the first common rite after he had been certified to the way. At first, he sat beneath the Bodhi tree, saw one night and brilliant star, and awakened to the way. Then he came to the deer park to meet us five bishops. Upon hearing the Buddha's voice, the sound of the drama he spoke, we awakened to the way. I understood the four truths. The Buddha turned the Dharma wheel of the Four Truths three times. He said, This is suffering, its nature is oppressive. This is origination, its nature is seductive. The origination of afflictions is seductive. This is extinction, its nature is that it can be certified to. This is the way, its nature is that it can be cultivated. Next, he said, this is suffering, you should know it. This is origination, you should cut it off. This is extinction, you should certify to it. This is the way you should cultivate it. On the third turning, he said, This is suffering, I already know it. This is origination, I have already severed it. This is extinction, I have already certified to it. This is the way I have already cultivated it. After the Buddha finished these turnings, Kaundinya became enlightened. Earlier in the Suragama Sutra, Kaundinya has explained that he awakened because of the two words guest dust. He understood that the guest was not the host, and the host does not go Why the guest does. He heard the Buddha's voice and awakened to the way. People's voices are a very important part of them. Your voice should be resonant. If your voice is full and carries well, people will enjoy listening when you speak drama. If your voice is unclear and you hesitate, hesitate and stammer when you speak, then people will not like listening to you. The Buddha's voice was crystal clear like a lion's roar. No matter how many people were assembled, they could all hear him, and they all understood his meaning. Nor was it only people who understood, all the animals also understood the drama the Buddha spoke. So it is said, with a single sound, he spoke the drama. All being, beings understood, each according to their kind.